Ebola is a rare but deadly virus that causes bleeding inside and outside the body. As the virus spreads through the body, it damages the immune system and organs. Ultimately, it causes levels of blood clotting cells to drop. This leads to severe uncontrollable bleeding. The disease, also known as Ebola hemorrhage fever or Ebola virus, kills up to 90% of people who are infected. Let's take a look at a few facts on Ebola. Ebola is a disease caused by one of the five different Ebola viruses. Four of the strains can cause severe illness in humans and animals. The fifth, Reston virus, has caused illness in some animals but not in humans. Ebola was first identified in Africa in 1976. This disease is extremely infectious but not extremely contagious. It is infectious because even a small amount can cause illness. Laboratory experiments on non-human primates suggest that even a single virus may be enough to trigger a fatal infection. Instead, Ebola could be considered moderately contagious because the virus is not transmitted through the air. Humans can be infected by other humans if they come in contact with body fluids from an infected person or contaminated objects from infected persons. Humans can also be exposed to the virus, for example, by butchering infected animals. While the exact reservoir of Ebola viruses is still unknown, researchers believe the most likely natural hosts are fruit bats. Symptoms of Ebola typically include weakness, fever, aches, diarrhea, vomiting and stomach pain. Additional experiences include rash, red eyes, chest pain, throat soreness, difficulty in breathing or swallowing and bleeding, including internal bleeding. Typically, symptoms appear 8 to 10 days after exposure to the virus, but the incubation period can span 2 to 21 days. According to the World Health Organization, there is no specific treatment or vaccine, and the fatality rate can be up to 90%. Patients are given supportive care, which include providing fluids and electrolytes and food. These are the 5 subspecies of Ebola virus. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a person has Ebola from the symptoms alone. Doctors may test to rule out other diseases like cholera or malaria. Tests of blood and tissues can also diagnose Ebola. If you have Ebola, you'll be isolated from the public immediately to prevent the spread. So far, serious Ebola cases have only shown up in Central and West Africa. Ebola can spread from country to country when people travel, so it is possible for it to reach India if an infected person travels here. But there are ways to prevent people from coming to India. Airline crews are trained to spot the symptoms of Ebola in passengers flying from places where the virus is found. Crews are told to quarantine anyone who looks infected. 